Hey, so in today's video, we're going to talk about how to create a Facebook pixel. Now, what is a Facebook pixel? A Facebook pixel is a tiny piece of code that you put onto a website to track people who went to the site. And it gives you tons of abilities to retarget people down the road when you're running ads. Even if you're not running ads right now, it's still really important to put it on your website so that way it's collecting the data for when you are going to be running ads. So how do you create a Facebook pixel? So you wanna to go to business.facebook.com and if you haven't already, create a business manager. If you haven't created one and you don't know how to do that, that's totally okay. We have a video of that on our YouTube channel that you can check out. Um, so once you've created your business manager, you're gonna sign in and you're gonna go over to the bottom left where it says events manager. So you'll click on that and then it'll have on, on the top here and then it will say Facebook pixel track website activities and you're gonna hit the get started option. And then it's just gonna come up. You can name your pixel. And then you can put your website URL in there if need be and hit continue. There you go. And so now the pixel's created and then you have the option to either install the pixel code manually or add the code or email the code to your, your email our website developer. I tend to do the manually adding um, because you can copy and paste that and send it to your web developer at that point. So let's just explore this for just a second. So this base code is your Facebook pixel. This is the code that you would put on it. If you just click and copy, it'll copy it to your clipboard and you can put that right into the header or footer of your website. Now, there is ways to create um, your event code. And so if you hit continue here, It'll allow you to use Facebook's um, event setup tool, or you can manually add the event code. I'm gonna hit the manually one just for the sake of this video. So you get to pick which event it is that you have. And so these events are this piece of code you would put on specific pages. So let's say um, you are going to put this on the checkout page the checkout page or on the confirmation page of a registry. Um, so you want to put the right code, um, the right event code on the right page. And so if you click on any of these, let's use the complete registration, for example, you can put the conversion code value. Um, so how much does uh, registering, how much does that cost? So let's say it was $5 um, Canadian for the register. So you made $500 when they registered and you can copy that and put that right on in with the base code onto the header or footer of a page. I hope this helps. If you have any other questions, drop them in the chat or in the comments of this video. And please feel free to check out the free resources we have tagged below. Have a great day.